And there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Before, there was constantly, but now there is none. God never, never condemns you. Never. So therefore, he never wants you to have condemnation. He never wants you to feel condemnation. He never wants you to feel guilt or shame. When you mess up, he still does not want you to feel guilt and condemnation and shame. Rather, he wants you to genuinely feel sorry and see rightly how he is towards you. He is not like this, I'm angry and upset with you, you messed up. But instead, his arms are wide open like the father of the prodigal son, welcoming you back home, saying, I know you messed up, it's okay, come here. This is the way for me to help you to not do it again, is for you to see me rightly, run to my arms, receive my love, so that you can live by the Spirit. This is how God wants it to be. When you accept that condemnation, guilt, shame, it makes you be like Adam and Eve and turn away from God. It makes you see God in the wrong lens that he's upset, that he's judging you, that he's disappointed. And that does not make you want to run to him. But running to him is where you access the power to repent. This is the only way you can access the power to repent, is his love for you, seeing accurately his amazing love for you. That's the only way you can repent. You cannot repent by, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I'm turning from God now. All right, I got to do better. I got to try to do, I got to read more of the Bible now, fast more now. You see how right now this is living in the law? All of a sudden you've just switched into the law. You've just switched to the old covenant. Many of you do this. Many of you do this. You feel condemnation. You're not just running to Jesus and you're not seeing his eyes full of love. You're seeing him wrongly. You're seeing him mad. Like he's like, go take a time out. I don't want to see you right now. That's not the heart of Jesus. 